Hey solo sportsters, in this video we are going to talk about tennis elbow, which is sadly a tough part of many players games when it comes to playing the sport. And when it comes to tennis elbow, there are so many causes that you want to make sure you avoid and weight is a big key. Do you go heavier? Do you go lighter? We're going to talk about it right now. When it comes to tennis elbow, second to proper technique is definitely going to be the weight of a racket. Now as we have lots of customers that come through the store, most people improperly believe that lighter is better. And you can kind of see the thought process of something being very light, very maneuverable, should take a lot of stress off the body, when in actuality it's the total opposite. And what I mean by that is a racket, when you swing it, will have a certain force. So if this racket weighs 260 grams and you swing it at 30 miles per hour, you might create a force of 10 pounds, 20 pounds, whatever that number is, we'll call it X. And then if I get a heavier racket at 300 grams and swing it at the same speed, that force is going to be larger than X. So we're gonna have more mass, more power hitting that tennis ball. So when a ball comes at you with a certain force, instead of that running up your body, your elbow, your shoulder, and the body taking all of those vibrations and all of that force, a heavier racket can absorb it as a longer, or pardon me, as a heavier instrument, giving you more force and more to counter what's coming in those day-to-day -day shots and all of that grind that happens on the court. Now I do wanna warn you, it's not that you just get the heaviest racket possible and you should never worry about tennis elbow. It's going to be the heaviest that you can handle. So if you are 12 years old or younger, you should be in that 260 gram range. If you're in your teens, maybe as high as 15, you can go up higher to 280 grams. And if you're 15 plus or even adult, you can be 300 grams or higher as an unstrung weight. These are just kind of cookie cutter examples. Definitely fine tune it at your local pro shop or by play testing rackets and demos to see where you fit. But if you do have tennis elbow, don't always think lighter. A lighter racket will be flimsier, therefore hurting your body more. A heavier racket will have more substance and be more substantial to absorb that impact. I hope you liked today's tip, and if you want more tips, whether it be for stringing, rackets, equipment, injuries, and more, hit us up in those comments, we'll answer those questions, or hit that subscribe button as we have new videos coming every week.